All right, right now we're responding to a uh, forced entry at a Wells Fargo bank, I guess the uh, ATM. There was uh, a couple people trying, I guess, using the ATM, and uh, the handle is busted, so they're locked inside. PD's on the scene as well. Let's go see what we have. We're gonna wait for the ladder company to get here, see if we can force entry. Hey, what's up, guys? How are you? All right. How you doing? All right? This place usually locks in the winter time. Nope. Not even with the card. There should be a motion detector, no? Huh? This one. And isn't there like a motion that'll automatically turn no. it off, or not, not this even one? With the car, not even with the car. Yeah. Everything locks in. Everything locks locks in, and that's okay. it's done. Until the next morning, yeah, when they, they open got somebody from Stanley Security coming, but they, they do have it. it. They don't have an ATA. No ATA. All right. You try to open it. You try to like yeah, push it out and push try. it in. Try. 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 Yeah. Let's try that first. Go uh, like. Okay. Yeah, well, it started, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. See if you can get those pins off and it's starting to come up. All right, can you hit it with the Halligan now? Yeah. And an axe? Five eight zero. Here, grab that axe. Try to hit it up now. Twelve. Let's see, let's see what we got. Did it go up? Next. Trying not to damage the door too bad, you know? We're just trying to figure out the hinge situation here before we do any damage to it first. It looks like it wants to come out, man. There you go. There we go. All right, you can come out. That top thing is, there you go. They just, they got locked in with that stupid ass. The white shirt wants to see what? OK. You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I just came over here for my wife to put some money for her mm -hmm. move. And she said before 8. Yeah. So I looked at the time, it said 7.50. Mm -hmm. OK, I got time. I opened it up. I went inside. All of a sudden, I come out, and Click. it wasn't open. It was locked. Yeah, it's designed to close after 8 o'clock. I okay. never, I never experienced anything nah, like that. I know. Or, I'm glad you guys are all right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Nah, no problem. Right, have a good night. We didn't cause any damage to the uh, door. It was able to be secured. We're going to leave it on the scene with the uh, security officer from here. And uh, all occupants were safely removed. And they're happy to be out. And a guy was working with a screw gun. He has his hand screwed to the vehicle. So maybe the grinder to screw off the, uh, the tip? I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. How you got in there, though? What happened? You feeling yeah, down? Yeah, or? No, I was pulling something from back there, and my hand slipped. I got right there. You can see it best right from there. It's twisted in through here into a finger, but it's really hard to work. We'll get the Dremel. We'll just cut it out and keep it in place. Look out. Don't be alarmed by some of the sparks. Yeah, okay? I'm good. All right, by us taking that off, we're going to hopefully remove this problem here. Hopefully it's going to slide. Uh, they still, they still, hold on. Water there. Josh has got the water. Craig's doing a cut, and Frank's our eyes. All right? EMS got his arm stabilized. Josh, you ready? You ready, guys? Go ahead, brother. You got plenty of light, Craig? Uh, they're going to be here momentarily, and I told them to come this way, uh, 702. Yeah. Slicing it down and cutting across. That way, it doesn't even come out of his hand. They can pull it out once we get to the hospital. 
Or where do you want to put the, the spoon in there and I'll cut the metal to the screw so you can get this hand? Yeah, that might be the best bet. How's your hand? Is it heating up at all? No. No, okay. No, you ready, Josh? Yep. Go ahead. All right, copious amounts. Please keep them water bottles coming. All right, All right. Nice and slow, sir. Nice, nice and slow, sir. Keep his hand okay. stabilized. You have him sit down, all right? Sit him back so we can just stabilize him, all right? So it's not a typical thing where we get someone's finger screwed to a van. Um, we came up here, we protected his finger in place. We put some metal behind his hand in case there's any slippage with our tools, so it protected his finger in place. We extricated his finger from the car. There's no further damage to his hand or the vehicle. And uh, I think he was a little bit more embarrassed than he was in pain. Uh, right now he's being transported with a small part of the screw that was uh, still embedded in his finger, but the uh, emergency room would be able to get a better look at his finger in the, uh, in the trauma room, and they'll be able to remove the rest of the screw from his finger. It was an excellent job by everybody on scene. And so we're going for the female who has a splinter in her foot. This is my first splinter, Cole. I'm wondering if it's like the size of a javelin. I hope by splinter she means like there's a giant rat gnawing at her feet. Like master splinter. <laughs> we are on scene. OK. Hello, how are we doing? I have a splinter in my foot. OK. For how long? A couple of hours. Did you see it? Kind of. I see. I see what it is. I can't get a good look at it. Let me. Let me get in. You got oh, terrible man. eyes. Watch your head on the table. I can see it, Dave. It's right there. You know, you walk with shoes on and you bring things up from the outside. That's right. And uh, I never go barefoot myself. Never, never, never. That's a good rule never. of thumb. I never go barefoot. Feel on it. You can't get it down without digging into the skin. I hate to take you to the hospital for a splinter, dear. Yeah, I don't want to go to the hospital for a splinter. Yeah, I, I, we're all in agreement then. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I was trying to prod it up with the needle before, but uh, couldn't do it. Uh, what's it? I got to be honest, dear. My job's pretty weird as it is. This is uh, got to be the weirdest thing I've done. This is I'm definitely sure. up there. I'm yeah. sure. you have any allergies to anything? No. Just OK. Can you take a picture? Oh, my god. You're kidding. Would this be any help? You want a magnifying glass, Dave? It'd really help if you can shine this. I have no idea where this came from. I, I don't see how you can drag it in from outside. We have no wood floors here. This is aggravating. Ever play a game Operation? I feel like I'm going to get zapped anytime soon. Feel any relief? Still see you? See how that feels? I still see a little bit in there. Oh, God. There shouldn't be anything that's gonna you have crazy. A needle, it shouldn't move you itself have a out. To dig it? I don't want to stick it with stick it with a needle, dear. No. Well, you just yeah. take a little bit of skin, you know. I know oh no, I, I understand, but it's my job. on my job on my end, I can't stick it with that needle. I can do tweezers. I mean, you take the needle, you don't stick it in. Tell them, Marty. Yeah, no, no, I'm not allowed to do that. If I slip and I and I stab you, I lose my job. Oh. Yeah. As long as you're you got relief on it. Feels better, but I, I don't know if I still feel a little bit of something, or if that's just the skin. Well, that's oh. what we heard over the years, that they generally work their way up. Yeah. yeah. I shot them with a BB gun when I was a kid. Oh. Yeah, wow. eventually worked its way out. Oh Stuck in his leg. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Good times. Yeah. Where'd he shoot you? In the ass. <laughs> I just soak it in some water. If it doesn't come out like that, give it a go again with the tweezers. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, yeah, I'm no sorry problem. You won't have it coming, you know. That's all right. I would hate to have you take you out in the the yeah. pouring rain to go to the hospital oh, for that. For that. You know? yeah. yeah, like I said, just yeah, soak it in some water. You'll be all right. That was the first time the BB gun story actually helped. Did you want to roll in with a splinter? Life status unknown. So it could be anything. Somebody taking a nap, overdose. Who knows? Truck 10's on the scene. We're investigating. What happened? This lady jumped on me and she cut my face up. Yeah. All right, we got an ambulance coming. We're going to look at you and see what's going on. Can I press charges? 
Well, yeah, we'll get the police here. All right, you want to walk over to the ambulance with me? Mm-hmm. We'll climb up on in here and get you going. Hey there. She got assaulted by another female. Uh, she got some cuts to her face. Um, that's about all we know right now. It's dry. It happened about an hour ago. Did she use a key to do this? Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to cover up your wounds just to prevent any more infection, OK? Mm -hmm. uh, young lady got in a fight with some gal. and. You think that was gunfire? Yeah, it was. was guy came running down saying, it wasn't us, it wasn't us. We may have another I scene. I we might get the shooting right the shooting. Oh, uh, we're headed to a shooting. We don't know how many patients or the status of anything. We actually heard the gunshots on our last call. Agent quarters. Well, they got the tape up. Well, there's one female that shot in the leg, and I don't know about the second patient yet. Shot in the arm. I'm gonna put your phone right here. Okay? You got any medical problems, ma'am? Anything you're allergic to? Just do me a favor, wiggle. Okay, push down against my hands. All right. I'll move on now. Straighten that arm up for me, sweet. 49 times 22 12. Sinus tech, 115. Yeah. Yep. So was there an exit wound on that? So you could it looked like possibly the right thigh on the outside. Yep. So what happened in there, huh? I don't know. We I was out, we was outside. I was standing outside and somebody started shooting and I so just ran into the outside. club and I jumped, fell down to get down, and when I fell, I got shot. Hey, have you ever been shot before? Uh, this is my first time being shot. First time. Uh, uh, and it doesn't feel good. Do you hang out there a lot? You know what? I haven't been out in a long time. But I was calling my fiance for him to come and get me. Yeah. But his, I guess his phone was dead. And I was just telling my cousin that I, I, I wanted to go home. I should have just went home. Yeah. I should have just followed my first time and just told her to leave. What? A lot of people get shot at that place and outside that place. Tommy. I'm still in the ambulance. We haven't got to the hospital yet. I'm in a, I'm going to the front port of the emergency room. You see my ambulance pulling in? Yes, I'm pulling in now. Oh. Like, damn, he getting on my nerves like he don't listen. <laughs> Stupid. Yes. All right, coming up. Couple bumps, OK? Hey guys, I'm Matt Eisman from Live Rescue. Subscribe to A&E for more videos and catch full episodes on AETV.com.